Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. Currently, just got over the hump, the early game hump. I don't think bankruptcy is a threat anymore. That could change, obviously, there could be a video game crash. But the big part of that is I did sign a publisher exclusive contract with Teidu. So now they publish my games, but they give me a much better payment. They give me $5 instead of 11 which is great. They also gave me a little lump sum payment. It's also the holiday season, which obviously helps with sales. Although that is about to end, because um, I think it's the end of January it ends. And if anybody's wondering why does the holiday season go into January, I believe in parts of Europe, that's the case. Uh, obviously, that's not the case in North America. But the developer, the main developer of this game, lives in Europe. So let's make a game here. But actually, before I make a game, I do have space for two people in this room. And I've been struggling to get graphics and sound points. Well, hey, look, there's no graphics or sound artists. I was going to hire some. Oh, there's no new, no new applications. But if I do employee search, can I get some people that way? Um, my graphics and sound are struggling. Mostly, actually, I don't want to repeat. Mostly because I don't have the graphics or sound studio. Um, but I need money to buy a new property for that, right? This is 2 million. I have almost 1 million, so I'll be able to buy that soon. But I also need to unlock it and research, right? Those rooms need to be unlocked there. So, you know, it's not, we're not going to have it right away. So let's not count on that. Let's get this commission work done. Um, game report here, do game report. Perfect. Let's let this go. Okay, so there is a graphic designer with the talented trait. We'll put them in there. And once we get the graphic studio, I will likely move them over. But for now, that seems like a good spot for them. And let's get a sound artist as well. Should be good. Okay, so they're done the game report. They got some commission work here. A little extra money in my pocket, right? Um, unlucky. So we're going to pass on you. We're going to look for another one. Hopefully, this one doesn't have a negative trait like that. All right, so research team is freed up. Um, so here, graphic studio is 500,000, sound studio is 500,000. Ah, do I want to start this now? I mean, it's also support and training room, which I will need, and which are less money. But the graphics and sound are more important. It is a lot of money, but I have a lot of money at the moment. And maybe I shouldn't be quite so free with it. Maybe I should be, you know, clamping down on the purse strings a little bit. All right, so I want to make a skill game. I think I want to make Dungeon Diver 2. And how's my most recent game? Oh, Heroes of the Storm is selling pretty well. So let's just take a look at this skill engine. This is up to date, okay? So we don't need to update that engine. So if we want to make a sequel, Dungeon Diver 2, we can do that. Ah, more, there's more commission work. Now, you know what? We don't need to, We don't need to do every commission work at this point. Uh, ooh, we'll have to do a Crusader Queen sequel, 50 hype. Uh, most of these don't have any IP value, but I think unless it's a really good game, you don't generally get IP value off the first one. This one has some IP value, but it was a sequel, right? So I'm hopefully hoping Dungeon Diver 2 will get me some IP value. Plus this will be, we're getting good at making skill games. We're getting good at making dungeon games. That's good. Uh, where's that skill engine? So, of course, we will go. Actually, can we sort these by active users? Thank you. Tapple, Terry, Commander Pete, Astro Arcade. So, the Rodovan is out now and the RRS 80, but the RRS 80 won't get enough users to be a factor. The Rodovan will. It'll be really close to the Astro Arcade and users, um, and it will eventually pass the Astro Arcade, but. Because it's more, it's more complex, takes longer to make, I'm just going to stick with the Astro Arcade. And I know this because I have historical, I left it on historical console sales, so they sell similar to what they're, you know, like this is obviously a play on the Atari 2600, this is a play on the Apple II, the Commander would be the, um, Commander Pete, what would that be? I mean, it would be the Commodore, but I don't know what the Pete part is. I remember having a Commodore 64 as a kid, but this would obviously be its predecessor. All right, so let's hit this button. And, oh, we have all the sliders in the right place now. 
Perfect. All right. So I'm actually going to take, so the, these sliders are in the right place as well, but because we get gameplay points from our QA studio, we're actually going to take some away from gameplay and put them in the other three categories to kind of balance it out and get, get us closer to what optimum is. And we'll turn on everything here. Seven out of 10, four of them are green. The little green circle means it's important. That is good. And this, this game should be 90% plus review score, I think. I would say. That's my guess. I'm predicting over 90. I'm hoping. So it's already at 35 hype. So I'm not going to do any traditional hype. Um, I could do, I could add an extra graphics. We already have two graphics people. So let's add an extra sound person. So let's hire an extra sound person. Actually, you know what? Let's go efficient automatic repeat and let's look for a skilled worker well it's twenty thousand every time though and only a 14 percent chance no that is i am not to the point where i have enough money that i can start doing that <laughs> so let's just look for a normal lower skill sound artist there we go and i probably shouldn't have put that on automatic let's just continue development for now let's cancel this we don't have any space for any more sound artists Let's do some special marketing for Dungeon Diver 2. Release a beta demo. And a pre-release for the press. And then we'll put push this out. We should probably, I should probably get an update out for Heroes of the Steam as well. Alright, so licenses have been unlocked. We will have to play around with some licenses. Ooh, that's a lot of a lot of hype from that demo. Alright, so development report says 70 to 90. So maybe it's not going to be over 90. It still might be. Um, this estimate doesn't take into consideration the 3% bonus you get from the pre-release from the press. But I'm going to say it's at least going to be upper 80s. At least I'm hoping. <laughs> I really hope. But I mean, our sliders were in the right place. Yeah, there we go. Okay. As predicted, over 90%. Perfect. So we've done two skill games lately. But skill is my special thing so my fans won't get bored but i don't want to flood the market with skill games either right but that's good all right so let's do a quick update for heroes of the steam um, while we do a game report here and we can do some demos we do a demo for uh dungeon diver 2 then we do a demo for heroes of the steam because it's only at 64 hype actually crusader queens as well could go for a demo. All right. Ooh, there's a lot of commission work here. Some fairly lucrative commission work. So we're going to do it. Well, that means everybody else is just going to kind of sit around twiddling their thumbs. All right. So now that I have some money in the bank, I'm going to pay the bank. <laughs> there we go. Our loan is paid off. We no longer have an interest payment to worry about. That's just one less payment. Get that done. Get it out of the way. Dungeon Diver 2 is selling pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah, at this point, honestly, doing this commission work is probably not good use of my time. Honestly. Ooh, you know what I could use, though? There's an extra couple of researchers. And there's none because of the hiring freeze thing. So this is why it's good to have marketing, right? Because I can just go, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just search for some researchers, right? Easy peasy. There we go. Perfect. And another one. And another one coming. Right? It's great. It's convenient. Marketing is important. Even though my marketing team has spent a lot of time idle, to be fair, still worth it. Cancel task. All right. Because we're full there. We're nine of nine. All right. So they finished that. So let's grab. Do we have worms? I feel like I already researched worms, right? When I knew it was going to be the trend or when I figured it was going to be the trend so now we can grab the sound studio perfect okay so they're almost done of this commission work except more keeps coming in <laughs> which isn't a bad thing it's it's basically free money but at this point it'd be better to get some games out all right so dungeon diver is off the market but that's good it's fine it's expected because dungeon diver 2 is out now Ooh, cheat codes so we'll have to research that once we're done in the sound studio and let's end automation here let's let's get another game out so what type of game do I want to make? Not skill, for sure. <laughs> um, 
I do another role playing? Actually, let's do a puzzle game. We'll do puzzle, then a role playing. So, do I have the is my puzzle engine up to date? Do we even have a puzzle engine? We do. It's definitely not up to date because it's for the Tapple One. So let's go here instead. Set version number automatically. Perfect. Any commission work here we could do? I think I already did the game report, right? Yes. All right, so do I want to do a sequel? We could do Dungeon Puzzler. Ooh, let's do Dino Quest 3. Ooh, Dino Quest 2 is still on the market, and it's still selling over 1,000 units a week. So I don't know if I want to do Dino Quest 3. I could do a fresh... I could do a fresh IP, right? I don't need to do a sequel. Let's do a fresh IP here. Puzzle game. Topic. Um, <laughs> dinosaurs does not work. Dungeons does not work. Healthcare does not work. Um, so what does work? Digging? And we'll call this uh, Digger Dugger. Which is, uh, of course, a play on Dig Dug. Which actually probably wouldn't be a puzzle game. Dig Dug would be a skill game, probably. Right? I would say. Anyway. Not important. I so yeah, I'm not sure if <laughs> not sure if digging's gonna fit, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Hopefully it does. All we've done so far is find a bunch of stuff that does not fit. Alright, so puzzle game. Ooh, we can got all these locked in. Alright, and let's look. Look at what we did for Dino Quest here. Copy these. We had three, so move that that way, move that that way. So yeah, we got a lot of these in the right place, though. And we're going to do the same thing here that we did for the last game. There we go. Perfect. And we are now fully experienced in all these features. So that will help our review score. I'm not expecting a 90 plus for this one. I will be happy if it's over 80. So let's actually throw a little extra QA in there. A little more than we've done lately. This is at zero hype. Um, and my, my publisher will hype it for me. But I'm not counting on them to do it, right? I want to do it myself. Somewhat. So let's get some posters out there. That'll get us up to 15 hype. And once that's done, we can... Uh, oh, wow, the game is ready already. It's not, though, because there's still bugs to work out. So let's continue development. And let's do let's do a game magazine. That'll get us up to 25 hype. Let's continue development. We got marketing to do. Yeah, I think I need to get. I have room in here. I think I need to fill this room. Ooh, password saves. I don't know. I know most of you folks are probably younger than me. I'm 45. Um, but anybody my age or around my age remembers password saves from like the 80s, the old Nintendo, like Mega Man. Mike Tyson's punch out writing down these passwords. Metroid. I'm pretty sure Metroid used a password system. Metroid's a pretty comp complicated game to have passwords. Um, but yeah, kids these days, you know, have no idea <laughs> what password saves were like. But I don't, I don't miss them. That's not, that's not fond nostalgia. That's just an observation. All right, so there we go. We can finish development now. Sixty to eighty. Hopefully it's over 80. Like, I wasn't expecting this to be over 90, but I was expecting to hit 80. But, yeah, so this is why I've been taking away gameplay. Because even taking away, we're still at 393 gameplay points, right? Which is a lot. All right, so hand over to Teidu. So Kamani, which is obviously the play on Konami, is upset that we didn't publish to them. But we have an exclusive contract that we are going to honor. It is currently the summer slump, though, so that's going to hurt our sales a little bit. But that is okay. Oh, yeah, 81%, or 80. For some reason, I thought it was going to tick up to 81, but I'll take 80. But I'm a little disappointed in that, if I'm being honest. I thought it was going to be a little better. All right, so, Graphic Studio is researched. Sound Studio is researched. Let's get these gameplay features. And let's buy this property for $2 million. All right, so um, because this is so far from here, we're going to need our own bathroom and lounge down here, right? As much as I'd like to not have to make another reach, kind of have to. 
right? We do not want people to have to walk all the way up here to go to the bathroom or go on break. That will just, that would not be good for anybody. <laughs> so there's our lounge and our toilets. Um, don't want to put it here, put it over here. Yeah, let's put it here. There we go. I probably should have Probably should have put an extra square here. Oh, well, not a big deal. Only two actual toilets. Ah, that should be enough. Can that, can I actually get in there? <laughs> Sometimes the auto furniture thing isn't that smart. All right, so graphic studio. Um, now, here's the thing. Do I want to save space? How wide is this? 13, so I can't. So if I do 6... Then a hallway in the middle. I want to leave some space for a support room, I'm thinking. So what do we got? Ten desks? That's that's enough for now. And then our sound studio will go over here. Uh, like that. I don't know how many desks I'm going to be able to fit in here. Um, for anybody who's not aware, for anybody who's not played this before... The sound studio desks are huge. Oh, nine. That's actually more than I expected. That's good. I'm okay with that. That's fine. So I have room for a support, uh, a small, a very small, admittedly, support team here. But that's fine. All right. So I need to populate these rooms. <laughs> and yeah, we don't really have many options. So the, that event is over, but... People haven't really started rolling in yet. So, all right, so let's grab the two graphics people out of here as well. We got a, got a legendary one. I forgot about that. All right, so we're three of 10. And grab the two sound people out of here. Perfecto. And let us start looking for some sound people. All right. Meanwhile, new game. Role-playing game, I believe, was the plan, right? Actually, let's let them do this research. Let's do a free update for Dungeon Diver 2. And then we'll do a free update for Digger Dugger. We can do the game report here. Get some sound artists. Get this research done. Should be good. All right, there we go. We got another sound artist. We probably only need like four or five sound artists. Um, ooh, we got a legendary graphics artist. Now, as time goes on, graphics artists become, or sorry, legendaries become less valuable. Um, early game, it's nice. They're expensive, admittedly, but, you know, getting the, the hype from this is nice. I do have marketing now, so it's less good, but... I don't have to train this person, but later in the game, when you have, like, I don't have a train, I don't even have a training room yet, obviously, right? So this, having this high skill person is nice. Later in the game, when you have training rooms and you're using your marketing team to get, like, 70 skill people, legendaries are kind of not worth it, not worth their cost. But right now, there. All right, so password saves is done. Um... Let's get the support room. Yes. Oh, wow, I'm out of money. I've been throwing money around. <laughs> uh, so let's just blast through some quick commission work here. I did not realize that I had been throwing money around that hard. Summer slump's not helping either. Okay, there we go. We're fine. One employee complained that he could not wash his hands. All right, well, there's a sink there. Is there not a sink in this bathroom? There is. Well, what's he complaining about? No, oh, apparently I have a complainer. <laughs> That's fine. All right, let's go with the large booth. We got all kinds of games. Dungeon Diver 2, uh, Digger Dugger, and Crusader Queens, sure. Okay, almost 2,000 more fans. We're going to need that support team soon. Magical Quest is off the market. Ooh, oh, and we do not want to automatically do the other things because some of them get pretty expensive. Oh, you know what else I need? I need a couple more game designers in here. Right? Ah, oh, too bad there's none. Ah, oh, we can put a programmer in here. Sure. 
And okay, how many people in the center room do I have? Three. Okay, well, I need a couple more. This stopped because I had no money. Right? That's why that's why that stopped. Just FYI. And we don't need to do anymore. We can do a game here. All right. And we got another music person. All right. So this game is going to be expensive to make. Uh, we're going to pass on you because you're unlucky. Uh, it's going to be expensive to make, but it should be good. Like 90 plus. Uh, do I want to do a sequel? This is a role-playing game. Magical Quest 2? Sure. I know it wasn't great, but that's okay. And I think this engine is up to date, right? Wait, is it? Is Primitive Mono Sound the second one? I think it is, but let's check. All right, so actually I need to do a little... So this person has the trait of uh, Nature Lover. They need plants in their vicinity. Their motivation increases when they water plants. So as long as you have a plant in here, this person's easy to keep happy. But if you don't have a plant, then they're not happy. So let's just make sure we have a plant in each of these rooms. Plant there, plant there. Do I have any plants in here? Yeah, I do, right? Oh, yeah, I already did the plant thing for these rooms. All right, so let's just check. I'm pretty sure this engine's up to date, right? Yes, it is. That's what I was thinking, but I just wanted to make sure. Better safe than sorry, right? All right, so sequel. Magical Quest 2. And I did say to um, somebody commented that if I'm struggling to find a name, just hit random. And I am going to do that. But one tip is sequels are good. That's just, that's one tip I'll give you. Do sequels. It's free hype. And that's how you build IPs, right? You can't really build an IP through a single game. You got to keep hitting it over and over. All right. So uh, story needs to go up. Length needs to go somewhere. Wait. Wait, hold up. This doesn't make sense. So this is wrong here, right? This, all these are right. These are both wrong. But we have a free point. So if we put the free point here, it means we have no point to move, but this is wrong. So this can't be right. It must need to go down here. Then this needs to go up. Like that? Let's look at the letters for Heroes of the Steam here. That might tell us something. Um, too short. Yes, so we do need to get length up. Too innocuous. Too easy. All right, there we go. That. That's better, I think. See, I would have thought story would have been even more important. But I guess you can have story light RPGs, right? To focus more on the combat and stuff. Anyway, all right, so and all right, so we have graphics and sound rooms now, but we don't have the technical room. The technical room is the mocap studio, and it doesn't come out till 1993. That's 15 years from now. So what we're going to do is we're going to move each of these down one notch, move this up three there so we can get some technical points. And I am going to try to make sure I have uh, programmers in my main development room. That'll also help me get some technical points. All right, so cheat codes and password saves for the first time. Ooh, an RPG with password saves. That'd be miserable. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, like the original Final Fantasy, the original Dragon Warrior, they definitely had save games, like battery saves. I believe, for you trivia buffs out there, that the original Legend of Zelda was the first game with save game on it, with the battery on the cartridge. I believe. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Absolutely. That's always been my impression. So we're going to cut a little costs here. We're not... I'm not to the point where I can go all in on these games. Same here. We're going to cut a few costs. But, I mean, this is clearly going to be our best graphics and sound, right? For a game that we've had easily. It's also going to be the most expensive game we put out. So, you know, <laughs> half dozen of one, six of the other. All right. So research... Ooh, strategy. Yeah, it's always good to anytime. Ooh, we got a sound person who's an all-rounder. So the limit for secondary abilities is increased. So we are going to put this person in our main development studio room. Because having all-rounders in there is nice. 
All right, so we're at six sound people. So let's uh, let's end automation here. Let's switch them over to graphics. Oh, what is this? This is music and sound person. All right, although do I want to do graphics or do I want to do marketing? I'm actually going to do marketing. We can, we can do graphics after this game, right? So Magical Quest 2. Uh, radio, that'll get us up to 40 hype, which is good. That'll be enough. Yeah, anytime you get a new genre, you generally want to make a game of that genre like as soon as possible because, yeah, look how, look how many graphics and sound points we got. Like before, we were struggling to crack 100, right? Now that we have the graphics and sound studio, 80 to 100 estimate. And that's even, that's without the like pre release for the press, right? So this could be like a 95% game easily. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's see how good this is. And obviously we're polishing right now, which is helpful as well. Let's just make sure there. Yes, they did what they needed to do. So they're also polishing. Uh, let's just wait till the end of this week, and then we'll do we'll put it out. So graphics artist, perfect. All right, there's a graphics artist, graphic designer, I guess. The game calls them. Finish development. Hand over to Tadu. You're welcome, Tadu, because I just won you Game of the Year. That's my prediction right here. This is Game of the Year, folks. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, 90, hey, 93. That's my best game so far. We're happy with that. We take that. We take those. And let's do a new engine. All the fancy features that we know. Strategy. Tapple 2. Call this the Strat engine. Well, I just realized that there, there isn't a, a, a random name. Oh, no, right here. The dice. Random name. <laughs> but I just like naming them so I know what they are, right? For the engines in particular. All right. And you know what? That's actually going to be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.